welcome back to Aloha Jen's Beauty Blog. For those of you that are new here, hi! My name is Jen and I am a licensed esthetician in the state of California. Well, welcome to a four-week update within the Summer Glow Up series. So technically, this would be episode number four. Now, as you've noticed th through this series, I haven't had a lot of time to sit down and film videos because this Summer Glow Up series is all about, you know, getting out there, making yourself a better person, improving your life overall, losing weight, improving your health, your skin. And when you are really focused on your goals and your health journey and losing weight, it takes up a lot of your time. And that's what's happened with me is that my health is really important to me right now. And what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to shed this weight that I've packed on for the last three years. And a lot of it's due to, you know, it's my fault for neglecting myself during the pandemic. And some of it is actually from going through perimenopause. Now, in the summertime, it's a lot easier to shed those unwanted pounds than what it is in the wintertime. Because in the wintertime, our body tends to hold on to that fat storage more for insulation pur purposes and, you know, for survival mode. And in the summertime, it's easier to shed it because in the summertime, you don't want to be carrying off on that excess weight because it makes you hot and it's tougher for your body to cool down. And that's another reason why I wanted to start this journey um, in the summertime is to inspire you guys to focus more on your health. If you're trying to lose weight, I want to inspire you um, in that journey. Now, I have some really good news is um, in the last five weeks, I've lost 20 pounds. Amazing, right? I'm so completely shocked. If I would have started this you know, in the winter time, I don't think I would have uh, shed the weight as fast because you're not as active in the winter time because it's cold and you're kind of just want to, you know, cozy up on the couch, watch a movie, drink some hot chocolate, that sort of thing. But in the summertime, when the weather is nicer, it makes you want to get out and do things. Well, I've been going on walks every day for the last four weeks and focusing on exercise, my diet, and it really takes a lot of my um, extra time because I'm doing a lot of meal prepping, eating whole foods, which I'm going to share the diet with you for those of you who don't know that I'm doing. But I want to share with you before we get into that some YouTube channels that have helped me with my health journey. Number one is Thomas D. Lauer. Thomas is a wealth of information. Now he is a celebrity personal trainer and also an author who has a YouTube channel um, on here. And I discovered him by looking, searching from, uh, for walking for weight loss because I've been hearing all these good things about walking and how good it is for your body. And I do it on my lunches, but that's the only time I was incorporating it into my exercise routine. So they say that, you know, walking is great for your body because pretty much everyone can do it. Um, it taps into your fat burning zone and it uses all the muscles in your body. It's really good for your core and your posture. You're not hunched over doing anything. You actually have to move. So he popped up into my feed and I've watched his videos before and I find him extremely helpful. He's helped me with my weight loss journey in the sense of walking for weight loss, and giving great advice on foods and supplements. Another one that came up was Autumn Bates. Autumn Bates, she has a lot of energy. She is a nutritionist. She's really into intermittent, intermittent fasting, which that's not something that I'm doing, but she has a lot of great videos on weight loss, diet, and health too. Also, um, for like all things skin and what inspired me um, to also take this journey is Jane Mann. Jane Mann is always an inspiration to me. She's actually a mentor to me. She gives such great helpful advice and tips for your skin, but your overall health. And she's the one that introduced me to block therapy, which is another channel that I <clears throat> research and watched pretty much almost all of their videos. I love block therapy, which I'm going to get into. 
For all things hair, I love Abby Young. So Abby is a beauty channel on here and she focuses a lot on hair and she's going to school to be a hair trichotomist. I can't, I, it's the hair um, specialist and she has such gorgeous hair and she has such wonderful tips, which one of them I'm going to share with you here. And then of course, Brazilian girl channel, which is Darcy, my soul sister. Darcy, I love Darcy. She's one of the most supportive people that I've met out here on YouTube. Um, I think she's going, I'm, I know she's going to be my soul sister for life. I just love her so much. And I love Darcy for like when there's new devices that come out. I love how in detail and in depth she goes. She does such an excellent job on reviewing and researching these devices. And I recommend that you all follow them and check out these channels. Now, so what has made the biggest impact on my health is actually my diet. Now, in the past, I've always gone back and forth on this diet, and that is the Body Love Everyday Program by Kelly Levesque. Kelly Levesque is a celebrity um, nutritionist, and she is amazing. Um, I've been following the Body for Love straight for four weeks now, and it's helped me shed 20 pounds. Now, I know that seems like a lot, but I do have a lot to lose. I actually want to lose 40 more pounds to finally hit my goal target weight that I was at 10 years ago. I don't know if that's going to happen, but I'm sure going to try. Now, everything on me is looser. I'm losing belly fat, which I um, give credit to walking and this diet. Um, I feel better. My skin looks so so good. <laughs> Overall, in general, this new lifestyle change has done a complete 360 for me. I highly recommend that if you are in perimenopause or if you're over 40 or, you know, if you're looking for something to help you lose weight and, you know, um, improve your health, look into the Body Love Everyday Program. So this is a 21-day life-changing path from Path to Food to Freedom. She does have another book, which is called Body Love. This one has more recipes and more plans in it. There's even a vegan plan in here as well. So this has made such a big impact on my overall health, and I just recommend it for everyone. Now, I'm not a medical professional. I'm not a dietitian or a nutritionist. I am a licensed esthetician and a certified personal trainer. So and I do have a medical background as well as I was going to school to study to become a nurse. And I've worked in many of different um, medical practice offices um, from skincare to chiropractic to general med. And now I'm working for an eye center. So, but love, love, love. Now I'm gonna share with you some of my favorite things that help me with my food choices from the Body Love Everyday Program. So I'm listing that book down below. Now with the, the plan for the Body Love, it's the Fab Four. So for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, you try to stick within the guidelines of the Fab Four, which is protein, fat, fiber, and greens. And that's what I do. And then sometimes I do snack in between. Like in the mornings is ten, when I tend to get hungry. So I usually have like two hard boiled eggs and some artichoke hearts. Um, the ones that are already cooked that are packaged with no additives in them. And then like in the evenings, if I get a sweet tooth, I usually make a chia seed pudding. And how I make that is with <clears throat> full fat coconut milk. And I love the Trader Joe's coconut milk with about, I do one can with six tablespoons of chia seeds, and I've been doing one scoop of the Be Well by Kelly um, grass-fed protein powder. So this protein powder is my absolute favorite. It is pricey, but it is well worth it. It's simple ingredients. It doesn't have any funky fillers or anything like that. And since I've been on this protein powder, and switched out for my other ones, I feel so much better. So this is $59 for 39 servings. 
and it comes in two flavors, chocolate and vanilla. I love both, but I would say that chocolate is more so my favorite. Now this comes from Swedish grass-fed cows. It is a protein isolate versus a whey protein where the isolate has all the lactose um, removed from it, the milk sugar, which usually causes most people to have gastrointestinal problems who are lactose intolerant. So that's wonderful. Um, it also has naturally occurring collagen. I love this protein powder. I love it so much. I'm on subscription for both flavors through her website. You can get it on subscription and you save, I think it drops it down to like $55 per a bag. And you can do, you can, um, put in your frequency, oops, of when you're going to receive it. Now, um, with this protein powder, like I said, I feel great. It's totally worth it. I just absolutely love it. So it's definitely changed my health. Other things that I love to help with my food and my cravings. So when you have your greens, and greens can become really boring, and it's really hard to find a really good salad dressing that doesn't have a funky fillers, funky oils that will mess with your, your body chemistry. So my favorite salad dressings, and I've shared this in my morning um, skincare routine part one, is the Primal Kitchen salad dressings. My absolute favorite is actually the balsamic. Now you can make your own, but you know, I'm so busy that sometimes I just don't have the time to make my own. I just preferred something mixed up. I take this with me to work. I take it with me out if I'm gonna have a salad, but I love it because they use avocado oil, which is a healthy oil. It's great for your skin, but your body receives it better. So this one is my favorite. I also love the Greek, the sesame ginger, the honey mustard, and this one. I don't really like the creamy dressings. I'm just not really a fan of creamy dressings unless it's real ranch, if you know what I'm saying. So this is my favorite thing from the Primal line. Their sauces and marinades do take some time getting used to. I tried their chicken um, or their teriyaki marinade on some chicken and I find that it didn't really give my chicken that much flavor. So I'm gonna try it again, but what I do love, and I'll try to find a picture here if you're marinating chicken, is I love the Japanese barbecue sauce, the gluten-free version. That is so good. <laughs> so I love this. Um, what I use to season my food, um, whether it's meats, eggs, um, uh, veggies is the flavor God seasonings. Now I just made a roasted chicken and I did that really quick to film this video. Today has been a crazy day. <laughs> I got up this morning, took Misha for a walk. I went for my walk. And then I had to come back, go grocery shopping, come back from there, do my red LED light therapy, my adipo, and then um, jump in the shower and get my hair done. I got my hair done today. What do you guys think? I got some highlights added. So, and my stylist, you know, curled it for me. I never can curl my hair like this, but she does such a great job of it. And it feels so good to have some brightness back in my hair. <laughs> so I took out a Mary's um, a whole chicken and I threw this on out. I sprayed it down with some avocado oil and I took it and I used the everything seasoning as a rub and I put it in the air fryer. I cooked it 15 minutes on one side and then 15 minutes on the other side for about um, at 350 and it came out absolutely perfect. And it's better than buying a store-bought roasted chicken because they have a lot of sodium and other things in there that you don't know that may be affecting your weight loss. So I've been doing a majority of my cooking and keeping it to Whole Foods and Flavor God seasonings really help. So everything is great on everything. I also love the gar garlic lovers. Use that on everything too. And then the ranch, the ranch seasoning, I absolutely love for um, air frying vegetables. It's so good. 
So what I love about these is they're, um, most of them, I believe, if not all of them, but they're paleo certified, vegan friendly, gluten-free and kosher. Just make sure you check out the ingredients of every, every one of them. They have several different flavors. Um, they're low in sodium. They have some sweet uh, dessert toppers too, which are really good. I love buttery cinnamon roll, chocolate donut, and gingerbread cookie. They do do um, seasonal flavors as well, but love, love, love these. They are a little bit pricey, but you get a big size of them, and they do last for a while just depending on um, how much you use, but these are like my no guilty seasonings, and I love them. So um, one thing that I love to do when I've had a really tough day long day at work is sometimes I love to come home and have a glass of wine. And I love it because it takes the edge off, it helps calm me and just makes me feel better. But you know, that isn't great for our skin, it's not great for our weight loss or health journey because alcohol, you know, is actually a toxin. But I love wine, I don't think I could ever give up wine. I do love beer too, but beer I can give up very easily, but wine is very, very tough for me. I just love it so much. Um, I don't drink it to get buzzed. I drink it because I enjoy the flavor, you know, finding out all the different notes that are in there. I love visiting wine country. I actually live in wine country, not in Napa, but I live in another part of uh, California that has um, wine country, which is near Napa. So. I was looking for an alternative and I was watching one of Thomas DeLauer's videos where he said he was giving up alcohol. There's a lot of people giving up alcohol these days, which I think is wonderful. And I'm leaning towards, you know, that too of only enjoying the occasional glass of wine, like maybe one day a week, like on a Friday or a Saturday versus Friday and Saturday and maybe Thursday, okay? I found, he mentioned hop water. So hop water is sparkling hop water crafted with adaptogens and new nootropics. I have to take a um, sip of water really quick. Excuse me. <coughs> I apologize for that. So hop water, it says here, proudly hopped. We tap the full power of the hops, their crisp, bold taste and calming benefits and unapologetically pull them out from under the shadow of alcohol um, and it says instead we team team them up with other mood boosting ingredients that help you hit your goals and not hide inside with a hangover so this has a blend of hops for a refreshingly crisp citrusy piney flavor <clears throat> ashawanga to de-stress and unwind L-theanine for mood and cognitive performance. Zero calories, zero sugar, zero sodium. It does have carbonated water in it. It does have vitamin C. I love it. It comes in several different flavors. Lime, blood orange, peach, mango, original, which is a crisp citrusy flavor. And I think that's it. I found mine at my local Bevmore. Uh, yeah, Bevmo. You can go onto their website and find it in your local area, but I absolutely love it. Now there's some of these more of these coming out, but they're not all the same. And some of these non-alcoholic mood enhancing beverages do contain sugar, but this is the one that I found that had the nootropics and the mood enhancing benefits to where it didn't have any um, sugar or sodium in it. So love, love, love. <laughs> And then <clears throat> for my fitness, I picked up some new tennis shoes. Um, so I've actually picked up two pairs of the Hoka's. I normally wear the Nike Vomeros. Excuse me, I'm gonna have to clear my throat. Sorry about that guys, I had an allergy attack. <clears throat> it's been a really windy day here, so it's been stirring things up. I've been doing really well, but today I just got a little bit of um, congestion and some uh, post-nasal drip. So 
another thing that what I have been doing um, to help with my weight loss journey is I research walking for weight loss, which I believe I mentioned in the first part of this video. So I tapped into that by taking tips from Thomas DeLauer and Autumn Bates. They tell you the formula and the goal is to get at least 10,000 steps a day, but walking for 30 minutes in a fasted state first thing in the morning. So that's what I've been doing. And I started out at three miles and then I bumped it up to four miles and now I'm at five miles. And this is what I do on my days off and on one day where I do go into work, but I go in a little bit later because it's a prep day. Now, during the week on my work days, I can't go for an outdoor walk first thing in the morning because it's too dark out. I don't like to go when it's too dark out because it's not safe. I like to walk by myself. I don't have anybody to walk with and I prefer to walk by myself because I wanna keep up in, on a pace to where I stay within my fat loss um, targeted heart rate zone which you can figure that out and they give you tips about that too in those videos. I would suggest that you research it if this is something that you're interested in. I choose walking because walking is low impact. It's not gonna mess up my fascia. It helps me with my posture and my core and my breathing. Overall, it works everything in your body and it feels so so good to get outside, be in nature, see you know your surroundings and the ions from the air like you really benefit from this if you live by the ocean, but the ions in the air help your body detox toxins and give you like a mood boost. So that's what I've been doing and I was focusing on trying, I wanted to get 15,000 steps a day in, but at first that wasn't happening. It was really hard for me. Um, and then I just decided on my days off, I was going to go for a walk outdoors. So that's what I've been doing. And um, I today, yesterday and today, I bumped it up a mile. So now on my days off, I'm trying to get in five miles. And what helps me get in these five miles and to walk with good form, keep an eye on my posture, is having great shoes. So when I was in Hawaii uh, last few times, I seen you know all the servers there and um, people who are going on runs and walking, they're all wearing these Hoka shoes. So I decided to look them up and I ordered two pair. My, the first pair that I ordered, I can't remember the model name, I think it was like Syntha 6 or something. I ordered them and I tried them, they were comfortable, but they ended up being too small for me. So I just sent them back and I'm exchanging them for a bigger size. Those ones I say run um, small. So I wear a size 10 and when I got them, I noticed that they seemed a little bit tight on my toe and then I took them for a spin. They were comfortable, but my toe felt a little numb. So I exchanged, I exchanged them for a 10 and a half and I'm going to try those. So in the meantime, I picked up the Clifton nines, which are these. Now these have a much thicker base, they make me taller, but what I like about the thicker base is when you're walking on concrete, it gives you more shock absorption because it's better to walk on the blacktop or dirt or gravel or sand versus walking on concrete because concrete is solid and there's no shock absorption in there. And if you don't have really good shoes on, it can cause, um, you know, uh, mini fractures in your feet. So these work out perfect. And I love the Hoka shoes. My normal shoes are Nike Vimeros, but what I love about Hoka's is they have this wide base on them and they keep me from over pronating my feet. On my left foot, I over pronate from the inside because my right side is higher than my, um, my Right side is shorter than my left side from my motorcycle accident. <clears throat> so look into the Hoka shoes. I absolutely love them. I can't wait until my other pair comes in. What I notice about these Clifton nines is that I feel like I'm working the legs, the muscles in my legs more with this for some added resistance, which is nice. The shoes are very light. These are very cushy and they're an absolute love. 
Now, what has made a real impact on my overall health and how I feel and where I'm able to go for these long walks and to be in a better mood is actually block therapy. So you guys have heard me talk about block therapy. So I ordered the starter pack and I got it with the block buddy. Now, I wish I would have waited and I ordered both the block buddy and the block baby at the same time because there are certain times, certain positions that where the block baby would be beneficial. Block therapy is absolutely amazing. I do recommend it for everyone, but I want you to think about this because I love it. It may not be right for you, but this has helped me. Um, I'm more flexible. It's improved my fitness. It's helped me go on these longer walks without pain. It's helped me with my neck and back pain, my hip pain that I've been experiencing. I had this pain in my shoulder for six months I couldn't get rid of, and then I started blocking and it totally completely got rid of it. Now what blocking is, is remember I have talked about and demonstrated the deep fascial folds on your face with the Omna? That's essentially what this is. So the blocks are made out of bamboo, <coughs> excuse me, because bamboo is the best material that mimics your bone. And this is specially designed with these rounded edges because there are some positions where you're using the corner and you don't want to jab um, to do a deep hold where you're going in there deep with your body weight pressing into the block with a sharp edge. It's very uncomfortable. So what this is, is we have fascia bands throughout our body. And within these fascia bands, like your IT band, for example, our body is surrounded with fascia and these deep fascia holds get down into the bone to relieve these deep fascia adhesions. And you can't get to these deep fascia adhesions with a fascia blaster. It doesn't go deep enough and the fascia blasters encourage you to really dig to get in there and that's not what you need. You need to hold these places for a total of three minutes to melt that fascia away to, for it to find its place. Now, I'm not gonna go into all this detail about it because I'll review it very soon, but research block therapy. Now, here's the thing with block therapy. It is an investment. The blocks are expensive. The program is expensive. The membership is expensive. So if you're thinking about doing block therapy, do it with the attention that you can afford the membership because doing just the starter program isn't going to be enough. To really tru truly make a difference in your overall health, your pain, and how you look and feel is to join the membership and complete a full program within the membership. And I'm going to get more into that. Now, with block therapy, it's amazing. I highly recommend it for everyone. It's meditation, it's physical therapy, it's exercise, it's like deep tissue massage. If you can't get rid of these fascia adhesions with a foam roller or any other um, tool because the reason why it works with these bamboo blocks is because it's the best material that mimics our bone. And when you're doing these deep fascia holds, it gets down to your bone. And with it being bamboo, it helps also build bone density. I hope that doesn't sound confusing. Now, with block therapy, <clears throat> some may experience a toxin release within the lymphatic fluid because these fascia adhesions create blockages within our circulatory system and our lymphatic system to where when you have the fascia adhesions, it blocks the fluid from getting in and getting out and it dehydrates all the surrounding tissues and it creates the um, fascia to crystallize and become super thick. So doing your regular fascia work helps release those adhesions to create um, blood flow and the lymphatic flow through the system to detox the body. Now, if you've had these fascia adhesions for a long time, like say your legs, your arms, 
Some people experience a um, lymphatic toxin release, which results in looking like cellulite. Now, cellulite isn't a fat problem. It is a connective tissue problem because when you have deep fascia, when you have fascia adhesions, um, fascia is wrapped around the tissues. And when the fascia adhesions are to the bone, it clamps down on that tissue, creating like these little pockets, okay? So it results in it looking like cellulite. With doing the block therapy, <clears throat> you release those adhesions, but you also have to do extra work. Now, the extra work would come in, say, a fascia blaster. Now with the fascia blasters, I love the smaller claw tools because they are not gonna encourage you to dig into the tissue. When these first came out, they came out with these bigger claws and people were digging into their tissues. And when you take these and you dig into the skin hard, you don't want to dig, you want to use in a light brisk movement but they were encouraging you to dig, to reach down into the muscle to release those adhesions. A lot of people had a lot of issues with their skin looking really saggy and lax, which can happen when you have a fascia release that has been um, adhered to the bone for a very, very long time. But if you do certain things like lymphatic um, uh, massage with dry brushing, it really helps with releasing that surface fascia. When you're digging with these tools, it creates issues with your skin and your tissues. And a lot of these people have suffered damage to their skin and their tissues from digging these tools into their skin. And that's why when I say when you're using the Omna, it's a very, very light pressure on the skin, like barely there, okay? Same thing with these fascia blasters. You wanna be very mindful of that. If you wanna skip a fascia blaster altogether, that's where I would recommend dry brushing. Everybody should be dry brushing all the time. Now, this is my favorite dry brush. I got this from a store a while ago and um, I can't find it, but there's one that's similar that has a small handle. It's made by Pure Soma. It's pretty expensive, but I'm sure if you do a search on Amazon for a dry brush, you'll find one that you love. But I just really love this one versus the one with a brush with a handle. So lymphatic, um, uh, Dry brushing is really important for your body because it not only exfoliates, but it moves that lymph through the system. And if you're doing block therapy, you notice that you have that toxin release and your legs look worse, your arms look worse, like you're seeing the dimples, it looks like uh, cellulite. It's very important to dry brush to move those toxins out of the body. Now, every day I dry brush. I start for my head, I mean, I start for my toes and work my way up. I find that this has made such a great impact on the way that my skin looks and the lymph is flowing through my body. So I highly recommend dry brushing too if you're going to be using the block therapy. If you have a fascia blaster, um, either the Pro Blaster or their new brush and blast one or a tool with the smaller claws, that's what I would recommend. I would avoid the bigger claw tools. You'll learn so much about fascia and your health and the impact that it has on your, you know, if you have autoimmune disorder, if you have fibromyalgia, neck pain, back pain, leg pain, hip pain, um, weight loss, research block therapy. It is freaking amazing. I love it. I'm going to preach it to the choir. <clears throat> So I did order their new tool, which is the block paddle, which I'm gonna put right here. This is for the face lifting program. So I'm gonna get into that here in a second. <coughs> Excuse me. You guys are now gonna go into a clip of what my skin looked like this morning um, without any skincare. So you guys can see the changes in my skin and then I'm gonna come back and we're gonna talk about skin and hair. Hello, so hi everyone. Well, I just wanted to jump on here really quick before I applied my skincare so you guys can see my skin without any makeup. I just jumped out of the shower 
and I did wash my face and I don't have any skincare on yet, but you could see my skin. Now, my jowling is going away. And the reason why my jowling was prominent was one, because my face structure needed to be reset with the Aura Lift, which we did that. But most of this of what we were seeing was because I gained so much weight over the last few years. And I've always had this gobble gobble, this is hereditary, but I never had jowls. And that's what you have to look at when you're looking at your jowling, because you know, I am 46, I shouldn't have jowling. We gotta look at the reasons why we're having jowling. One is it could be genetic. Two, it's a connective tissue problem, a stagnant um, fluid problem, a weight issue, okay? Now, I know that this is going to look better because I am losing weight. I've lost 20 pounds officially, woohoo! <laughs> but what I'm having issues with my skin, with the weight loss, it's not the skin on my face. My skin is actually a lot firmer. It looks better texture wise. And the last time I performed a microcurrent was actually on Monday of last week. Today's Monday, June 19th. And I did the Zip six day event ready program. And I had to take a break from microcurrent because that program overworked my skin from performing microcurrent every day. And this is one of the reasons why I do not like performing microcurrent every day. It does not give your cells time to regenerate and it's always having them, you know, supercharged up. And I think it's important to take a break every day, unless you're using something for a quick lymphatic drainage, like the P2 program on the Pico toner. So I took a break and I was thinking of doing the 30 day zip program, but my problem with the zip is it doesn't address this tissue right here, which I'm noticing the effects of weight loss. It looks looser. So what I want to do is I want to build on regenerating the cells in here and building that skin density back up. And radio frequency is not going to do that. It only tightens your skin just a little bit with the at-home devices, but there are things that interfere um, with that as well. Like we don't know what radio frequency is doing to our dermal fat layer or the fat cells within our skin. We only know that it does not cause damage or it doesn't reach down farther enough for the subcutaneous layer or the fat pads, at least with most of these approved at home devices. And it's another topic, but I've been, um, I'm taking a step away from devices that have heat in them for skin tightening, such as radio frequency, the Medicube Usera. The Medicube Usera, I have to do more research in, but it's not going to help this area. What's really going to help this area is regeneration, regenerating those cells, supercharging them with that cellular energy. So I'm gonna go into now testing the Pico Toner because I really want to be able to use it on this area where I'm seeing those effects of my skin from the weight loss. And I can't do that with the zip because you can't use it on your thyroid area. But overall, I wanted you to take a look at my skin without any skincare and let you guys you know, notice if you see a difference in my skin. Um, I, I do big time. My skin just looks so much better with everything that I've been doing. Also, um, what I know is going to improve my overall appearance is, um, working on that connective tissue, mainly those, um, uh, fascia bands that are pulling my skin down, like such as my eyes and my jawline from adhering to the bone. So I did purchase the block therapy facelifter program, which I'm gonna to talk to you guys about. But just really quick, I just wanted to throw a clip in here so you could see my skin makeup free. And I, my skin, I think looks great. Again, no skincare. I just cleansed my skin with the Neogenesis cleanser and here it is. I'm gonna go in with the Color Science uh, Flex and Medium today for my um, makeup. 
I'm, I have to hurry up here because I'm going to go get some highlights in my hair and, um, <clears throat> I'll see you soon, which you'll see my hair. <laughs> All right. I just wanted to pop in here. So I'll see you in the so next one. I hope one. you guys enjoyed that clip, um, of my skin. As you can see, like my skin, I'm just so completely over the moon happy with it. I know you guys could tell that where I've lost weight, you can see like everything's looking thinner in this side. But um, first I wanna talk about the MFL products. So I love the MFL products. I love the serum and I love the night cream. So I'm four, almost five weeks into MFL now. And here is my night cream. Now I've taken one day off of this, but I've been using it straight for pretty much, you know, the whole four weeks. And I still have like this much left in here. So I think this is going to last me probably the whole entire summer. Love, love, love. Now what I have done since it's gotten just a little bit warmer and there's a little bit more humidity in the air right now, We've had such a cool start to um, June. It's been a lot of June gloom. Um, this week, it's like in the 60s and 70s, and we're all loving it. I love it, especially with, you know, I'm able to go on my um, lunchtime walks, which I love. Um, I, I haven't been using the Barrier Renewal Cream from Neogenesis in the evening. I cut that off last week, and my skin has been fine. Where I stopped using the MFL cream is actually on my chest. My chest was not having it. I kept getting irritations and breaking out from it. So I completely stopped um, using that. And I didn't bring it in here, but I I started using the Neogenesis Intensive Moisturizer on my um, uh, from here down, all the way down to my breast area in the evening instead and that seems to be working i'm still taking everything else like my serums and all that down to um, my chest but i'm not using the emma pell night cream there because it was causing a lot of irritation uh, <clears throat> the serum i love i haven't had any issues with this causing any irritation or inflammation in my skin and i think the reason why well i know the reason why i've been so like successful at not having any inflammation or irritation in my skin is due to the Neogenesis Booster and Recovery and also the Osmosis Rescue Serum. That's the reason why. With the Emma Pell eye cream, I didn't bring it in here. It's not my favorite and I actually wouldn't recommend it. So one of you mentioned to me in one of my comments, I haven't answered yet, which I'm gonna get into, is that the Emma Pell night cream or eye cream actually has a grainy like texture. So it's like a serum, not a cream, or like sort of like an emulsion in a way. It just doesn't feel like it's enough for the eye area, but there, it does have like a grainy feeling to it. Now there's some out there who can't use the serum or the, um, the cream, but they've been using the eye cream all over their face. Now, I wouldn't like that personally. If you could only start out with one product, I would just pick the product that best suits your skincare routine, whether it be the serum or the night cream, and just use it once a day. So I'm four weeks in, I'm starting to notice more changes in my skin. My skin is looking firmer and it just looks like I'm noticing that my fine lines and wrinkles are less apparent and just things are just picking up in general. Now, <clears throat> one thing I did pick, I picked up a couple of new things. Um, one I haven't added in yet, but I was watching Leah's video, uh, I think it was last week. She um, did her review on the Epicurum. This is the Microbiome Restorative All-in-One Serum. So this serum, its benefits are probiotics, prebiotics, I'm sorry, prebiotics, postbiotics, and probiotic technology combined with antioxidants, humectants, and skin brighteners work synergistically to balance the skin's microbiome. The um, featured ingredients are alpha-glucan, oligosaccharide, bacillus ferment, gallic acid, 
Lysium barbum fruit, Rosa centifolia extract. So this is, it has multiple humectants, antioxidants, and that pre, post probiotic care in it. This is an all-in-one serum. So when I finish my osmosis rescue and replenish, I'm going to replace them with this serum. It's more cost effective and I want to test this out. Now, I really like Epicurin. I used it back in the day in the treatment room. It was a different line then. And I really loved it. Their professional treatments in the treatment room. I didn't really care for their skincare back then for like everyday use, but I love the professional treatment products. So they have since, you know, revamped the line since then. And this serum just sounds absolutely wonderful. This is 1.7 ounces. It's $140 <clears throat> where the osmosis serums cost me more. So here it is. Now this is a watery serum, kind of like a watery milky serum. Let me see if I can get some on my skin and I'll show it to you. So here it is. And it blends, um, it absorbs quickly into the skin and it just feels so hydrated and really, really lovely on the skin. It just absorbs quickly in, so it doesn't feel heavy or anything like that. And it has a really nice scent to it. It's a very sort of like light cherry scent. Um, it doesn't have any essential oils in it, but check it out. I was very interested in it after watching her video. So that's my plan is I will switch out to this when I'm finished with the osmosis serums and test this out for you guys. And hopefully it works and could be my new um, replacement for those because it will be more cost effective. Um, so... Uh, I got some new uh, SPF. So let's talk SPF really quick because I'm going to share with you my favorites. So I love my IS Clinical Eclipse SPF 50 in the beige tint. But what I'm noticing for the summertime is that this is just too thick and heavy. So what I use this for now is in the mornings when I'm gonna be outside, I'm gonna go exercise, that's when I throw this on. Or if I'm just at home not doing anything, that's when I'm going to use this now. Because I picked up, um, if you watched my little short video I posted what I'm loving this week, I picked up the Color Science Sun Forgettable Total Protection Face Shield Flex in the shade medium. I have this on my skin right now. I have this on as my makeup and my SPF. I did use the LYS um, Triple Fix uh, Concealer underneath my eyes. I put my powder, my bronzer, my blush, my highlighter on, just a little bit of highlighter right here and down the bridge of my nose. and. It just really looks great. This is a one and done SPF. I absolutely love it. So this is going to be my SPF for work. When I go to work, cause I have to wear makeup. Well, I don't have to, I choose to. <laughs> so this is my new um, like everyday sunscreen for work. On days where I want to do more of a glam look, which you can do that with this too, I reach for the Total Protection No Show Mineral um, Sunscreen and SPF 50. I love this. This is so good. Um, so I use this on my neck and chest instead of this because it does have the tint to it. And this is amazing. It's so good on my chest. It doesn't enhance the wrinkles. It gives the perfect hydration. There's no oiliness in my skin from either of these, where I do get a bit oily with this. And this says it's a matte finish, but it leaves my skin really dewy and luminous, which I don't mind it with this. It's not like overly dewy, but depending on what you put on underneath it, it can have that effect. I love this. This is awesome under makeup. I love it for my neck and chest. It is so good. There's no white cast in this whatsoever. My husband loves it, so I had to pick him up one. Right now, we're sharing this one until the new one comes in, then, then he can have his own. 
but he has like a caramel complexion. My husband's um, Filipino, so he has a caramel complexion and this doesn't um, show on his skin. He also has oily skin and he has been loving this. He's like, that is so good. So he loves this too. Love, love, love. Now, what I use to reapply my sunscreen, because this one is not good to reapply. It just builds a thicker layer on the skin. Now, this is a mean, light to medium coverage. On me, it's medium. I didn't even need to use any concealer around my nose or anything where my foundations, I do. The only, to, where, the only place where I put a concealer is right underneath my eyes. So this, I wouldn't recommend reapplying. Um, that's just me, but if you want like a medium to full, like a medium coverage to fuller coverage, you can layer this. This one you can definitely reapply and it's easy, but here's my thing. These are expensive. <laughs> uh, 1.7 ounces. This one is 45. This is 1 point ounces and it is 49. And I think this one comes in a bigger size as well. So they're pretty pricey. I had love, these are my two favorite SPFs in a mineral powder form. I love these for reapplying when you have makeup on. The, the affordable one is the Brush on Block at SPF 30. I have the one in Touch of Sun. It's, I can't really show you the color, but it's just a very light tint. You can pick this up on Amazon. You can order it directly from them. And I absolutely love the color science. So this is an SPF 50 or SPF 30 as well. This comes in a couple of different formulations. I have the shade medium here. So these are my two favorite ones that I love for reapplying. They're both in my purse. And depending on, you know, what I'm doing after, like this one kind of has, gives me a little bit of coverage. This one is a little bit more moisturizing versus this one. So if I'm gonna go out after, I go for this one. This is pricier. This is like 60 bucks. This is like $34. So I love these for when I need to reapply my sunscreen, like when I go for my lunchtime walks at work. They work great. I've tried the Super Goop one that just left my face looking like a hot mess. I tried the Derma E one. The mineral powder was too chalky. I'm not gonna try the is clinical one because it is $70 and I'm not gonna pay $70 for that. That's just insane. <laughs> and I looked at the ingredients and I didn't really see anything special in there. So those are new, those are what I've been loving. I highly recommend the Color Science um, SPFs. They're amazing. Love, love, love. Now, <clears throat> let's talk devices. So I did a um, the six day event ready um, plan within the Zip Halo. Now I'm gonna show you my before and after picture right here so you guys can take a look at that. And you can see like, I think my skin looks good but it looks overworked. I didn't really see a lot but I just noticed like in my jowl area, it just didn't really do much for me. Now I love the Zip Halo, I think it is a fabulous microcurrent device. I have no issues with the programs in this. I think it's wonderful. For me, I love it more so for a quick treatment when I don't have time. The programs are easy. They're, the app is beautifully designed. They're, the It's easy to get into. It's user-friendly. It's just a great overall app compared to others out there. Now, this won't cut it for me personally as an everyday uh, microcurrent device. I love the Pico Toner and I'm gonna get into that. I was going to use this and go into the 30-day plan, which I like better because the six-day event ready plan, I did not like for my skin. It looked overworked because you're doing microcurrent every day. And for me, that just is too much microcurrent. It doesn't give your cells time to regenerate and repair. You need to take a, a break. You don't want them to be on, like buzzing with all that energy all the time. <clears throat> you just need to give your skin a break. And <clears throat> so 
I was gonna do the 30 day plan to test this out fully for you guys, but there's some things that I'm noticing in my skin that I wanna work on where the zip can't work, can't, doesn't cut it for me. So this is great for someone who, you know, finds like the Pico toner too cumbersome, wants a quick treatment, doesn't have a lot of time for devices, but still wants a beautiful glow. It does give you a beautiful glow in the skin. Now with the electrical complex gel, I do like it, but what I noticed what happened to me with using this six days in a row, now I don't think it's the gel because I haven't had any issues with getting any breakouts or irritation in the skin, but I ended up with a couple of bumps on my skin and I think that's more to towards of like, it was too much microcurrent for me. I love it for my skin and I haven't had any issues with it. It's just, I noticed that I got those couple of bumps on my skin after I was done with the treatment round. So I decided that I'm not going to do the zip um, 30 day program. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with my Pico toner with the Jane Man Lift and going into with the probes and the different attachments i um, not using it every day, but a couple times a week, like two or three times a week, because as I'm losing weight, I'm not noticing any sagginess on my face, but what I'm noticing is right in through here, the skin is looking a little saggy and needs to be tightened up. I'm going to go in for the Pico toner because mainly because of the program P2, because P2 works on skin density cell regeneration, which is what I need to build collagen and elastin and to help regenerate those fat cells along with adipo. Because I have been putting adipo here too, but my skin needs more stimulation there, which you can't use the zip in this area. And that's where I'm noticing where my skin is looking a little funky. As you can see, it looks a little loose here. Radio frequency is not going to help this whatsoever. Radio frequency just does a little bit of tightening on the skin, but I've never really noticed it to create a bigger impact. It's not stimulating ATP, it's not regenerating those cells, and we don't know what the long-term benefits are on the dermal uh, fat layer in the skin and the fat cells in the skin. All the studies are done on the subcutaneous tissue, tissue saying that the heat doesn't affect that or the fat pads in these at-home devices. Now, I have decided that, you know, I'm giving up radio frequency in the meantime, and I know you guys want me to test the Usera. We will see. I have to deep dive into that research more, but what I'm going to be focusing on is my Pico toner because with the P2, as I mentioned, I'm getting a little too carried away here, is that it helps with skin density, it helps with skin radiance, it helps with cell regeneration, stimulate cellular metabolism, which is that cellular energy. It also helps with stagnant fluid. Now, as you can see, my jowls look so much better as a lot of it was a weight problem. Most of it was the weight problem, but also with me keeping up on doing my fascia release, that has really helped. What's even going to help this more so is not only using my microcurrent, is I ordered the face lifter program and paddle from Block Therapy. So I'm going to be testing this out. It's a nine day program and this paddle is specifically designed to work in those areas because I do still have a lot of fascia adhesions in here that need to be worked out. <coughs> and what really impacts this area when it's a connective tissue problem is these muscles right in through here, your sternum masculoid, the, the muscles in your sternum or your fat, I'm sorry, your fascia in your um, sternum your neck, your scalp. So we're gonna be doing that. And my um, paddle comes in on Thursday. So I'm going to start that right away. We'll do it before and after, but I will also be using my red LED light therapy, my um, uh, and microcurrent, okay? So I'm gonna be testing it out for you guys. Now, that facelifter program was quite an investment. It was $197, OMG. And the prerequisite is that you get, um, that you have to have at least the starter program where you sign up and you get your block buddy. 
that is a pre prerequisite because you can't make an impact on just the face um, and the neck alone. You have to look at your body as a whole with the fascia. You have to work the fascia all over. And that's the thing is if you just pick that up, you're not gonna really see that big of a difference because everything is connected. So I'm gonna go in with my Pico toner and start working on this. So I'm gonna take a before and after picture and we'll see what my skin looks like in 30 days and see if it improves. And especially like this area because it's looking looser and I want to see the impact. I know that the Pico toner is going to help because it does help with skin tightening and toning and lifting and that's what I need along with those deep fascia adhesions to my bone that need to be released so everything can find its place. But overall in general, as you can see, everything looks great. So I wanted to put that out there for you guys. Oh gosh, I think this is gonna be another long video. <laughs> so let's talk about hair. So as I mentioned, I oh, one more thing is that Jane Mann, starting July 3rd, is having a 21 day challenge. Now, I really wanted to sign up for this challenge and I don't think I'm going to because it's $299. So every day you're going to get a video, whether she's gonna do um, microcurrent, she's gonna do fascia release on the face, but also talk about body. There's a cleanse involved. And if you join, you take your before and after pictures, you send a testimonial and you could win a J-Man Lift Probe with her Lift Microcurrent Unit. So I may do it, but I'm not making any promises because as I mentioned, I've, you know, invested in my health and, you know, with exercise tools, the fascia, the diet, the shoes, the skincare, a lot of this has, you know, cost me a lot of money. It's not cheap to eat healthy, especially these days when the economy is inflation. So we'll see about that. Now, um, as I mentioned, uh, Abby Young is like my hair guru. So she gave a great tip if you watch her hair videos. Um, one of them that I loved was using this OGX Coconut Miracle Oil. So this is $8 on Amazon, it's completely sold out, it keeps selling out, but she mentions using this or a coconut based oil, but she really loves this one in your hair before you wash it. If you are someone who, whether you wash your hair once a week, but if you wash your hair frequently, I highly recommend this tip. So what this does is it helps protect your ends from getting dried and damaged from over cleansing or you know shampooing your hair a lot. And it has greatly improved my ends since I have been using this. Now I've been doing this for about three weeks now and I just notice a complete difference in my hair. Such a great tip, go watch her videos. She gave me that tip and it's funny because there's a popular YouTube uh, person on here who owns a retail <laughs> store. She never gives credit for things that she finds. And I saw in one of her videos, she mentioned using this and she totally got that tip from Abby, but she wouldn't give her credit. I thought that was so wrong and I lost so much respect from her. By the way, I am still using my Glow Booster H. I absolutely love it. Um, So for my hair, what has really helped my hair? Overall in general, it's not collagen. <laughs> Um, so as you guys, um, if you've been following along, you know, I've um, talked about the hair loss that I had from having COVID, um, when I got it back in, um, at the end of October when we went to Greece and I lost so much hair. Well, I use the Virtue Labs Flourish line. I use their, um, density booster spray. I use their shampoo and conditioner and their um, hair mask from the Flourish line. So I shampoo my hair with the shampoo at least two times a week and I rotate out. One of those shampoos, I use just the regular conditioner. It doesn't dry out my hair whatsoever. It gives me great volume and my curls still look good with it. 
And when I smooth out my hair, my hair looks good with it. And then once a week, I use the mask. These uh, four products have really helped my hair redensify. I'm getting, I have a lot of new growth. My hair is thicker, it's fuller. Um, the condition of my hair feels better. It's not breaking off whatsoever when I was having problems with breakage. So <clears throat> it's fabulous. And I, I highly recommend it if you have hair thinning, if you've lost hair from having COVID, if you have menopausal hair. Another thing what I've noticed too is I'm starting to get a lot more grays coming in and they're not all wiry like what they used to be. And I lead that to the Jane Man Omna because I do use the Omna in my scalp every day. And since I've been more consistent with it, I'm just noticing that it's helping with those gray textures. So if you're getting all those wiry gray hairs, I think um, having that fascia tension is uh, creating something with that hair texture. And Jane mentions that because you can use the Pico Toner <clears throat> on program two with the Jane Man Lift. And if you have wet hair, you can just set it on your scalp. You don't wanna move it around because your hair will get caught in, in the, the fingers, the metal balls um, <clears throat> on the lift. But you can hold it there and get that current in your head. And it's gonna stimulate um, blood flow, cellular energy. And it's also gonna help with the hair texture. But relieving fascia and st scalp stimulation really, really helps with that too. So <clears throat> these are all things that have made such a great impact on my overall um, mental health, my mind, body, my soul, and my weight loss. And I wanted to share that with you guys. And I hope that you found that this video was helpful. And if you did, please make sure that you give me a big thumbs up. My videos haven't been getting liked that much. And since I haven't been getting many likes, I don't feel pressured to come on here as often because my health and my goals are, you know, it takes up a lot of my time. And like, I was going to film a video yesterday and I'm like, oh, well, I don't want to stress myself out and filming a video. It doesn't seem like, you know, um, the videos are getting liked that much. And, you know, I'm... My content has changed. I want to be here more to help you guys and share things um, with you that are going to be helpful in your life versus you know picking up another device. I don't think we need all these devices. I think if we implement the right things, the right skincare, the right diet, and you know do things that you know improve your overall health because we have to look at the body as a whole. We can't just focus on our skin. Um, it just, it does, if you want to truly achieve your best skin, we can't go about it by attacking all of our skin problems with a device because devices just boost your skincare. They don't like improve your, you can't, they improve your skin, but you can't just rely on a device to, to be a miracle or to give you your best skin. It's just going to boost everything else that you're going to do microcurrent and why I love the Pico toner is that, uh, it's like the microcurrent in that is pure. It's just, it's an overall, you know, energy, um, boost for your body. Um, if you follow along with my, for microcurrent love, um, reach out to her. She does have some posts on how the Pico toner and the clean and pure uh, dynamic microcurrent from Neurotris has really changed her health overall because Mai uses it all over her body. That was a main thing for her with the Pico Toner. And when I use it all over my body, I do feel good. And that's how you can tell too with certain microcurrent devices. Like when I use, say, the New Face, I did not feel good after that. It gave me a headache. Sometimes when I use the Myolift QT, I get a headache from that. Um, when I use the zip halo, I don't get a headache from it. And I like the combination of the nano and the microcurrent on those programs with the Pico toner. I have no issues. That's why I love it so much. And I highly recommend it for, for everyone. And that's my main microcurrent device. It's the one that I love. And if I only had to choose one, I would 100% choose the Pico Toner over the Zip or any other microcurrent device out there. 
Just saying, I picked up the zip because it's nice to have that option. I wanted to try it and see if it's different. I did purchase it on my own, just like I purchased the Pico toner as well. So anyways, I kind of went into a little ramble. I must go now because I'm hungry and I need to eat. And I'm, I'm just like uh, getting delirious here. <laughs> All right, guys. So make sure you give my videos a thumbs up. Um, I will, I'm going to set a day to where I spend one day a week answering your comments. Again, I apologize for not being more responsive. It's just, you know, my life is crazy now. I, I work full time and I just don't have a lot of time. And where I try to come on here is I want to share these updates with you to let you know, like my thoughts and my opinions and try to answer your questions. Maybe I should do a Q&A here soon see how many of you guys want to participate in that so we can get your questions um, answered. But yeah, um, <clears throat> I hope you all are ready for summer um, and I will see you in the next one. Have a beautiful rest of your week. And my next video is going to be an empties video. Oh my gosh, I have so many empties. Oh. <laughs> all right, have a wonderful rest of your day or evening and I'm sending you all so much love and light. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Bye. Hey now, take a step outside and seize the day.